Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids 1 Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. That should do it. Nice, really good first raid to start off. Oh my god, a purple? Are you serious? When does it stop? <laughs> Holy shit, like, I don't know what the hell's going on, bro. I swear, one of these Jagex mods, like, they're, they're like, screwing with my account, man, honestly. Alright, man, here goes nothing, boys. Whew, an arcane prayer scroll, okay. The uh, Dexterous Scrolls were making a comeback for a while, you know, it was actually... It was actually beating Arcane, you know, it, it really was beating Arcane for once in his life. But now we're tied again, dude. These guys are going neck to neck. Yeah, okay, we'll put you, we'll put you in a video, man. We'll give, we'll give you a nice, you know, like, five second clip, alright? You, you guys deserve it, alright? I just need the Ancestral Bottom, so please summon the Ancestral Bottoms for me, okay? Dang it, man, I didn't even have my quarter on, dude. Another one. Here we go, guys. <sighs> Look at that shit, they're back together, they're tied again. It's insane, dude. These guys are trading blows, dude. I'll go for it. Oh my god, I fucked up. Ah, what? 10% is like 64. Yo, this raid was pretty good. Nice. Not bad, okay. So, we have vanguards to start off. Uh, no prayer hands, but we did fit speed load because uh, we had, you know, the overloads. So, that was kind of the key. A bit shady though, because Vanguard's don't always drop overloads, but... We got the overloads, we cleared it, and then the rest was good, you know? Hmm, I don't really have a choice, I'm gonna have to... Oh fuck, I might be dead. Oh, I just take 8 that, jeez. Oh! Holy crap, I just got 97 attack. Holy crap. So glad it didn't interrupt me, because I am really screwed right now in prayer. But that's very nice. Ooh, I gained a 122 combat from that. Let's see how many ID bars I've made. Ooh, damn, I made so many. That's hot. It's really nice not having to use ice gloves for this method. Oh yeah, this is good. Now I got this. Okay. Yeah, all right. That's a perfect lore. This is what I call the choo-choo train lore. Yeah, I messed up. I haven't been in the kingdom in a while. I'm gonna actually put all my money into the kingdom. Uh, I'm not worried about that because I'm I'm gonna go and uh, out my leftover stuff from the Slayer Grand that I did for Call Necklace for some money. I definitely need some burst nets though, for real. I've been using them a bit more because besides just raids, I'm also using them at raids too, Deer of Blood. So yeah, my Brew consumption has definitely uh, gone up a bit. This should help a lot with the kingdom and the birds' house runs, of course. Alright, so I just picked some obvious alcohols for my bank, and okay, that's nice. Over 6 mil, good stuff. Alright, so the big ticket stuff, battle axes, dragon legs, from Vorkath, I guess. Leftovers from the Inferno grind. And then the rest of these, I would say, is probably just from Slayer. Pretty good. Holy shit, am I gonna kill it? Whoa, I just killed it in one crystal. Oh my god, that was insane. Nice, nice. We did it, but- Oh, purple! It's been a little bit, but honestly, we're still really lucky overall. We've seen a lot of deck scrolls and arcane scrolls recently. So, I was thinking maybe we get more of those. <laughs> Twisted buckler, dude. Haha, <laughs> it's been a while since I've gotten one of these. Let's see how many I got here. Three! Baby, a triple! Hey, the Twister's Buckler's got some pretty uh, pretty nice range defense, actually. I might just take it for a spin, honestly. It's been a while since I've used the Twister Buckler. Good job, brothers. Oh, yes. You got a purple? Yo, let's go, Mary J. Let's get it. Today's the day. You Come the on, game. Are you opening it right now? Oh man, so come on, come on, stupid legs. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. 
Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was hilarious, dude. Oh, my God. All right, you just hit 85 mining. Isn't that something, like, pretty relevant? Let's have a look. Rune Knight or okay. Man, I, I was pretty content with Addy Darts, you know, initially when I when I was grinding and planning out what is going to be like my end game ammunition. I should probably maybe get myself, you know, to 85 smithing at some point. I think naturally I might just get up there from uh, making more ammunition. I know, jeez. God damn, that was, oh, I just got a purple. What the freak? Dude, I don't understand. I don't understand how I keep getting purples, man. Seriously, this this account is absolutely rigged. Seriously, it's absolutely rigged. All right, well, I'm ready for my uh my next deck scroll. So here we go. <laughs> oh my god, it's the ancestral hat. It's returned. Oh no, the ancestral hat has returned. Holy shit! Damn, that's number five. That's actually my number five. Wow, that's crazy. Jesus Christ, it's been a few hundred raids since my last Ancestral Hats. Wow, are you kidding me? Holy shit, no way. That's crazy. Uh, so I just found I just found out my fourth hat. That was on raid two sixty two, and then I got my fifth hat. At six hundred forty nine. Jesus, it's been like yeah, it's been like four hundred raids since the last hat. Oh my freaking god, dude. What the fuck? I just take ate it. Yeah, I actually take ate that shit. Fucking hell, man. Alright, it's time for my monthly potion making for our rates. We uh, finished up the restores, 500 restores. It just gets like a bigger stack every time I do it, you know? I used to make like 200 at a time, 300 at a time, now I'm making 500. I didn't think much of this level of 80 Hunter until I realized that it was actually the 2000th level on this account. That is really important because in the near future, when I will be doing banos for some armor over there, I definitely want to have 2000 total worlds unlocked because it's going to be hell trying to find a banos world without 2000 total. So that's like the major significance of the 2k total world. And also for some leeway if I ever have to do some wilderness stuff, of course, 2k total worlds are a bit less crowded in the wilderness. Nice, last rate. Oh, no way! Are you kidding me? Uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't get it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna spare you guys the, you know, the same old five lines, honestly. So, here goes nothing. Oh, no! What? Holy crap! That's, that's not possible. Okay, okay. What? What? I just got that one yesterday. Oh, that's insane. Six ancestral hats. Oh crap, check this. 22 charges, I f***ed myself over. Dang it! I have a grand total of 100k scales left, so. Time to dismantle another piece of equipment. Oh man, I already used off half of it. Should we do it again? I hit a zero zero! With my C Halley. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, purple, dude. Nice. Who got it? 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 Oh, AJ got that. Damn, nice. Got the defender. Dope. Alright, guys. So I just realized I'm getting pretty close to unlocking another upgrade. And that is the Tarnacy Bracelet. I only need like 20 rates to go for 675kc. I fortunately don't actually have to do like the uh, seaweed method much mm. because I do have a lot of other things that I can uh, get crafting experience from. Okay, so we're at my bank now. Let me check my gems because I know from past experience raids and whatnot will give me a lot of gems. So, woof, that is a lot of bling, boys. Woof, if I cut all these... That's some redonkulous fast XP. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to calcus source this baby up real quick. Oh my god. I just plugged in all my gems, right? Only the gems, sapphires, emeralds, rubies, and diamonds, right? And apparently, that's just 
already going to get me 90. Because that's 1.4 mil experience that I need. And yeah, that's... <laughs> That's crazy. All right, I'm kind of lazy uh, to bother calculating the rest of these. I'll probably work on these when I do need to get 93 for torture in the future, for sure. But yeah, man, I can just get these last three levels super fast. Oh, it's going to be so freaking nice, dude. Oh, shit, there it is. The 99 magic. All right. <laughs> That's actually so good for me. But yeah, 99 magic is actually so important. I get a flag max hit, so uh, overloads is going to boost me in 120, so I should be able to uh, hit a 43 instead of a 40, 42, so that's really huge. And also, even if I'm not potted, that's also a max hit on the trident as well. So my flat base damage is increased by 1, so it's going to be really good overall. And of course, the, the 99 magic cape. I haven't bought a... What the fuck? I just hit 96. Surprise! Uh, defense as well. Oh, okay, alright. Well, apparently I'm not keeping track of shit. So, let me, wait, wait, can I just right click and minus? Yeah, I can just do that. Forget the dialogue, man. I'm going straight for the cape. For the longest time, the magic cape used to be kind of useless, but the spell book swap for this magic cape is so freaking nice. Of course, we gotta perform the emote. This is actually my first ever skill cape on this account. I haven't bought a single skill cape. Amazing, because uh, I gotta switch between Ancients and regular spellbook. Since I'm doing TLB a lot, and I have to be on Ancients, but then everything else, I don't want to be in Ancients. And I don't have the Scepter, so I can make that nice altar in my house, so... Five spellbook swaps a day using Magic Cape. Prime, that's, that's really, really useful, so... Man, it's time to work on some crafting, man. Tomorrow's gonna be freaking upgrade day, so... Damn, dude, that's awesome. Even at the uh, lowest tier gem for me. About 120k an hour? That's uh, really nice. Alright, first level to the Tormented Bracelet. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, Emerald's such a nice step up. 170k an hour. Probably gonna be around 160k, because... I'm not going to be as attentive, but damn, that's just under two hours for 89, man, doing emeralds. That's going to be amazing, man. Should be able to get it tonight. Oh, yes. There we go, boys. But uh, 500k experience to 90, guys. All right, so how much uh, XP I got left in uh, emeralds? Okay, about 240k in emeralds left. So that means halfway there, and then I have like what? Is this 70, 80 XP? Yeah, okay. Yeah, by the time I do the emeralds and the rubies, I will have 90 crafting, and actually, um, I'll still have some leftover gems for the torture ground in the future. Hell yes. This is it. All of my emeralds cut. 9,000 emeralds. God damn. It's time to move on to the rubies. All right. Ah, oh, pretty crazy. 200k an hour, pretty much. Damn, dude. One more hour to go. Beautiful. There we go. There we go, guys. The 90 crafting. Oh, man. Oh, man. Onyx Amulets and Redwood Birdhouses. See, the only downside is I do have the crafting for that, huh? Redwood would be amazing. But 89 Hunter, that's going to take a long time. I don't even know if I'm going to do enough birdhouses to get to that point. Um, possible. If, uh, if I can, then for sure I will. I have a lot of Redwoods for that anyways. So I have cut almost all of the gems that I have accumulated thus far in about 675 solo raids with about 30k points. So I will be accumulating a lot more gems in the future because I still have a bit more than halfway to go for the 1500 raids. But the raids have certainly sped up some of the skilling necessary to upgrade my account. So on the last episode, I ended up getting the scythe. And because I got it so early and because it's such a powerful weapon that definitely would be really useful at raids 1, I decided to lock it alongside the Grazi Rapier and 
the sanguinity staff. So we set it for a thousand raids for scythe, seven fifty for the other two. And uh, just to clarify, all item restrictions are restricted behind chambers KC, not TOB. So, and also some of you guys wanted me to use the scythe before I ended up unlocking it if it's outside of chambers. I'm not okay with this. The rules that I've placed on one man raid isn't designed to only make raids one harder, but it's also designed to make the entire process of this journey harder. That means TLB, that means God Wars, you know, all the other PVMs surrounding the story. And if you look at the rules very, very closely, uh, for example, the rules for raids rewards, I cannot use certain raids item rewards anywhere if I get them too early due to RNG. That rule has always been there. So there's never been a time where any of these items that I've gotten, I've decided to use it outside of raids one early. No, no, never have done that. So if I decide to use the scythe early, then that means I make an exception. And I don't want to make exceptions for this series because let's face it, the more exceptions you make, the less meaningful your restrictions are. So I'm trying to follow my rules to a T. And it's also the same for the phase two upgrades, you know, the 19 upgrades that I'm specifically looking for to complete the series. I cannot use them anywhere either until I unlock them. Oh, there you go. Hey, Mr. Archie. Thanks, boss. It was worth the wait, 7 a.m. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Do you guys want to see what the mother little mine actually looks like? Because I'm about to show you. So buckle up and prepare for a ride. Let me uh, go up in the air and have some nice aerial view. So while you guys are enjoying this spectacle of the mother little mine, I'm going to be uh, wrapping up the video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Especially for those of you guys that made it all the way here to hear me say this all the time anyways if you're new and you got here congratulations I hope you guys enjoyed the video overall and uh, if you haven't already built this channel via the subscription box you should consider it or else you might not get the next video when it comes out you know within the week anyways I hope to see you guys soon in the next video take care and bye bye